My name is Todd Woomer, and I was on the finance committee for Holy Family School. All four of my kids went here, and I actually graduated from here. We were running two schools, South Campus and North Campus, and South Campus was older, needed a lot of work, and North Campus, the IHM school, the original IHM school, was also aged. And the property was actually desired by the hospital. We took that opportunity and a great donation from the Sakamano family of this property, combined those two campuses to build one new school here. A new school was necessary because we had a growing population because the two campuses that we were running were falling apart. We built the school larger than we needed initially. We had the property, we had enough room to build up to overbuild the school. And so we did at that time. And since then, the enrollment has grown into the school. We looked at dozens of designs from all over the country with the help of some architects. The church was already built. It was existing, it had been completed. And we lined up the cross and the narthex and the entrance of the church with the gathering area of the school. We wanted it to be symmetrical. We wanted it to be part one and the same with the church and the property. Gosh. Hi, I'm Emmett. I'm an eighth grader here at Holy Family. I like how the school is laid out because the playgrounds, everything's positive. The middle schoolers get to have their own area, but then every once in a while we get to go have what we call reading buddies and go read to the little kids. My reading buddy's name is Bodhi. He's a kindergartner and I love going to see him. We had a fantastic groundbreaking ceremony, but then the work really started. Dirt started moving. We had to get everything on order, all the construction, the contractors, getting all of that lined out. Oh, I think this is, school's fantastic. It's held up really well. We're 20 years later and it still looks like a very, very modern school. I think it's, it's beautiful. I like it. I can't imagine what it was like going to the school 20 years ago because now we have computers and internet and electronics that make it easy to learn. Our challenges were numerous. Timelines, money, could we borrow money, design, and timing of getting the students out of the old property into the new one. So we had a lot of challenges to overcome. On the first day that we opened the school, the school was ready, completed. We all met down at the North Campus, the old IHM school, and we all walked the whole school, staff, students, administration, everyone, and parents, walked from the old school to the new school. And then we started the school day from there. Yeah, it was quite a procession. My name is Luke Alberts, and I am Holy Family class of 2015. I started here in 2003 when this new building opened. I was in Miss Bobby Joe's uh, preschool class. So I go way back and I can't believe it's been 20 years since the school has opened. I'm scared and excited to graduate Holy Family and move on to high school. I'm scared that I won't be ready for the workload that will be brought upon me. And I'm excited for the new people in the large classrooms. Holy Family does a really good job getting you prepared for high school and college. Leaving Holy Family to go to Grand Junction High School was a huge step. I was a little nervous, but in the end, I felt so prepared going into freshman year. Once I started my classes, I knew how much success Holy Family brought to me, knowing how to study and communicate with teachers and just having a hard work ethic. Upon graduating high school, I started attending the Hankamer School of Business at Baylor University. The campus that was built when I was in preschool propelled me to success in the real world today. And it's awesome to come back to Holy Family and see that it's still doing the same thing for kids two decades later. Well, I was fortunate enough to have four kids go through this school. The experience was fantastic for them. They have grown up, they matured, they moved on, they're productive members of the society and, and, and the world and the community. From a parent standpoint, I just, I don't think there's a better choice to make. My children's lifelong friends, the ones that they're in their 30s now, they have their own families and their lifelong friends were made here. And it's that caliber of kids I want them hanging out with. My classmates inspire me because they're smart and they're hardworking and sometimes loud. All of the teachers here are amazing and the volunteers go around the school and are so helpful. Having a religion class is great because you can stay connected to God and be encouraged to do good things. Something that we talk about on a daily basis that the parents don't always hear about or understand is conscience. Conscience doesn't just apply to the school, it applies to your everyday life outside of school. All of the people at Holy Family, the students and the teachers have a high quality conscience. 
beyond the academic achievements that the kids have, and that's very quantifiable, there's an area that's not quantifiable, and that's the Christian values that they also get while they're here. That core value is present every day, at the beginning of every day, where they say the Pledge of Allegiance, they say the Lord's Prayer. It's just how they start their day. It's also how they finish their day. I'm pretty sure the hardest part of surviving Holy Family was making it out alive with my dad as the principal. The building is beautiful, the school's great, but we didn't build it for the property or for the school or the building. We did it for the kids. The kids needed a new place. They needed a place to grow, to learn, to get supported by their parents and their families, to make them better adults when they grew up, to be productive, honest citizens. And that's why we did it.